Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's exclude ribs from the section view in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So if you see this drawing, this drawing is in first angle of projection. So this is the top view and this is the front view. Now if you see this front view, you have a section. But if you see this front view carefully, you have two ribs here. Now these ribs are not coming under this section even though the section line is passing through these ribs. So this is today's topic. Today we will try to exclude ribs from the section view using SOLIDWORKS and Creo Parametric both. So let's start with SOLIDWORKS. Sometime when you have a part with multiple ribs and when you create a drawing, your drawing will look like this. Now when you create a section view passing through these ribs, you get your section view like this, which is bit confusing because of the ribs. So because of these ribs, the section view is not clear and that is why in such cases we exclude ribs from the section view and to do this select the section view right click and go to the properties section scope now here you select all the ribs which you want to exclude from the section view just like this and say ok so now your section view looks much clear now the same thing can be done in one more way and for that, go to view layout, section view and place the section line passing through the ribs. Now the moment you say OK, you get the same window, section scope. Now here, once again you can select the ribs and you get the clear section view directly. So this is the way we exclude ribs from the section view in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's do the same thing in Creo Parametric. So I have the same drawing in Creo Parametric. Here also we will do the same thing. And for that first I will delete this view and I will create a projection view. I will add the section here. Now if you see this section view. It adds the section including the ribs. Now in Creo Parametric, we don't have any straightaway option to exclude the ribs from the section view. So to get the similar result, we use parametric sketching here. So let's understand that. But before that, first you create a section view like this. Once section view is created, double click this section line or just click it. So if you are using Creo 7 or lower version, you will get a section properties menu manager here. So from here you can erase the section. Now if you are using Creo 8 or higher version, then you get this user interface. Now from here you can hide this section. So depending upon your Creo version, you either erase or hide the section. Once that is done, go to parametric sketching under sketch tab. Now if you are using Creo 7 or lower version, Directly you get parametric sketching somewhere here. But if you are using Creo 8 or higher version, you won't get that option directly here. To access that option, you need to go to the legacy sketch. Now here you have parameter sketch. Click it here and then you click it chain. Now once that is done, go for line. Select the reference and then you click all the reference which is needed to draw this sketch. I will select these four references first, then I will go for this, 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 then this, this, this and this. Once this is done, just say enter and draw the line. Start from here, go like this, come down. Go like this, close it here, 
मिडिल माउस बटन वन मोर टाइम स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर गो लाइक दिस कम टिल हियर देन दिस साइड देन कम डाउन देन दिस साइड दिस साइड दिस साइड देन दिस देन दिस this one then this one and close it here so now we have two closed loops which is under selection and that is why it is showing in green color now if you have deselected it then one more time you need to select it go to draft entities and then you select like this hold the control key and then you select like this once you have selected it go for hatch take any name and say okay now here you have scale you can scale up or scale down then done now go back to layout go to arrow click this view and place it here so now we have a section view which doesn't include the ribs now if you move these views this side section also moves along with that not only that because of the parametric sketching if you change the scale let's make it 0.75 it updates automatically let's make it 0.25 everything is happening parametrically let's make it 0.5 so this is how we get this kind of result using parametric sketching in creo parametric so here we don't have any straight away option to exclude ribs from the section view and this works very fine now you are watching my cad videos from long time so if in case you are looking for online training classes one to one for creo parametric anywhere in the world then share your contact details to my email id which is cadxclasses@gmail.com You can even share your contact number to get a call and I'll share all the details related to this training. Thank you. So that's it from this video. Now if you like this technique then please consider subscribing to this channel and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.